Hi, this is Ali Arango of Little Guy CGI, and today I would like to show you how to rig with Bendy Bones in Blender 2.79. So let's get started. Okay, if this is your first time in Blender, I recommend you go to File, User Preferences, go to Input, and then choose Select with left click. Blender's default select is with right click, and this may confuse you if you're coming from Adobe programs or other 3D programs. Okay, what you see in front of you is a 2D drawing of a dragon by my daughter, Aliana. I have a tutorial where I show you how to set up a uh, 2D cutout character like this. I'll put a link up here so you can get to that. Okay, what bendy bones are is bendy bones are a way of rigging in Blender. It tends to use less bones while giving you more flexibility to your rig. Uh, we are using a 2D drawing here, but don't think because we're using a 2D drawing that this will only work with a 2D uh, drawing. This should work in a very similar way is if this was a 3D mesh. Okay, so uh, let's get to rigging this thing. Okay, in Blender where your 3D cursor is at is where objects tend to come into Blender at. So what we want to do is hold Shift and then press A. This brings up our Add to menu. We then want to go to Armature. And then we want to select single bones. We're gonna left click on single bone and now we can see our armature here. Our armature bone popped in, we're currently in object mode. We wanna move this bone down in object mode. And the reason why we wanna move this bone in object mode is if I click here, uh, basically the origin point for the bone is right here. If we went to edit mode and move this bone down, origin point would move. We want that origin point to be right here. Okay, so with this bone move in object mode, what we want to do is with the bone selected, you can tell the bone selected because it's highlighted orange, we want to then left click here near the bottom of the page and then select edit mode. Okay, here in edit mode you want to select the tail of the bone and then you want to take this up near the uh, top of this dragon's head. Okay, so with this uh, covering most of the area here, what we're going to do now is I'm going to just click in the center so that most of the bone is, uh, or click in the center so that the whole bone is selected, not just the uh, the uh, top uh, part of the bone, which is the tail, tail bone, tail part of the bone. Okay, with this bone selected, we want to divide this bone into three parts. What we're going to do is press the W key. Once we press the W key, our specials menu popped up. We then want to select subdivide. Okay, so we subdivide it once, so the bone is split into two bones. However, we want to subdivide this so it's split into three bones. When you look to your left, you'll see a thing that says, uh, or a menu that says subdivide multi and then number of cuts. You want to take this up to two. And just by doing that, now you can see our bone is separated into three different bones. Our uh, This blue and red uh, tool here is our manipulator. Currently it, it's in the way of where I want to grab. So I'm going to left click here just to move that manipulator down. I'm then going to click right here, the head of this bone. Then I'm going to move this up. So basically the top part of this bone you want to be very small. And now I'm going to click here, which is the tail of this bottom bone. Then I'm going to push this down because you also want this to be small. So the top part of the top bone and then the bone that's near the bottom, you want those bones to be small while you want the middle bone to be big. I'm going to press A to deselect. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to click on uh, our little puppeteer button here, our armature button. It looks like a little you know, person there. When you look down, you'll see display, and then display, you'll see all these different settings. See where it says B bone? This B bone is what we want. So we're going to left click on that B bone. And once we left clicked on that B bone, what we see is we see um, our bones change to now they basically look like cubes. If you want to change the size of these bones, you can press A. To select all of the bones, you can, I believe it's Control, Alt, and S, and that will let you make your bones thicker. 
So you can make them thicker or smaller. So it's Control Alt and S. Okay, so what we want to do here is if we're currently in edit mode, whenever you're rigging, I think it's very important to realize which mode you're in. We want to select this top bone here and we want to clear the parent, clear it of these other two bones. So to do that with this top bone selected, you can tell it's selected because it's highlighted orange. We're going to hold Alt and then while holding Alt, we're going to press P. This brings up our clear parent menu and then we want to select clear parent just for that top bone right there. I'm going to press A now to deselect. Okay, we are still in edit mode. What we want to do is now we are currently clicked on our armature bone settings. We're going to go to the right, just one button. We're going to left click. And once we left click on this button, we see uh, underneath transform, we see bendy bone, we see segment one. What we want to do here is make sure we're clicked on the body. Okay, just to be clear, we're about to take the segments up for one of these bones in the segment, the, the bone that we're working with is the center bone. Okay, so for the center bone, what we're going to do is look where we see our segments, and we're going to take these segments from 1 up to 11. So I'm just going to click on this arrow and take that up to 11. Okay, what we want to do now is with this body bone selected, we want to left click near the bottom and then go to pose mode. Once we're in pose mode, we want to look to our upper right and uh, we want to look to our bone constraints. So we're going to left click on that button and we'll see add bone constraint. We then want to left click here. And then what we want to do is look to our uh, stretch to constraint. So we want to left click on stretch to constraint and then we'll see these options. So where we see target, we want to left click on the orange cube and then we want to select armature. And armature is what this whole uh, set of bones is basically. This is the armature. Then we want to aim for the Pacific bone. When we click on this top bone right here, see where we see item. This is our properties panel. If you don't see this menu, you can press the N key and that'll make this uh, panel pop up. When I click here, this shows us the name of the bone, and this is the bone.001 bone. So now I'm going to left click on our body bone. And the reason why I showed you that was we want the, the stretch to constraint to go to this bone, which is our bone.001. So we're going to left click here, and then we're going to select bone.001. Okay. Um, and like I said before, when you are the one of rigging, I think it's important just to remind your, yourself uh, th which mode you're in. Currently, we are in pose mode. Okay, so now with that done, when we click here and we press G, we can see that this bone stretches and it stretches in a nice way. However, I'm going to right click. Uh, when I press R to rotate, the uh, you know nothing happens. So I'm going to right click to get this bone to stay in place. And now to deal with this, what we want to do is left click on the body, right? You can tell it's selected because it's highlighted blue. This is very important. Make sure that your body is selected for this to work. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click back on our uh, armature bone options. And then what we want to do is look down in our list to where we see use custom handle references. We're going to put a check mark here. And then what we're going to do is for where we see out, we're going to left click here. And then we're going to select bone.001. And then for the in, if we click here, you can see that. Okay, this is just named bone. So uh, for this, what we want is Again, I just clicked here so you can see the name. However, make sure you click on the, the body. That's what you need for this to work. For N, we're going to click here, and then we're just going to select Bone. And then now with that done, when we press G and move our bone, then if we were to go like this and press R, you can see that now uh, just by controlling this bone, we're able to rotate the rest of the bone. So I'm going to right-click. 
And then to get this to jump back to its original position, I'm going to hold Alt and then press G, and that just resets the position. I'll also hold Alt, then press R, and that would reset any uh, rotation we put on to this film. So I'm going to press A to deselect. Okay, so we're about to attach this drawing to the bone. Before we do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our armature menus. I'm going to go back to our regular default bone settings. And the reason why I did this is, let me press A to deselect. Uh, let me go to, we're going to currently in pose mode, we're going to go to edit mode. See how this face is over here? I want to have a bone come over this way, so I'm going to click on the top part of this bone here, right? Now I'm going to press E to extrude and then right click. We're in a front orthographic view, by the way. That's why I don't really need to use uh, axes to uh, make sure the bone doesn't roll. And I'm just pushing this down and I'm, I'm doing this just because I want, I want to, to easily be able to grab this head part portion of a uh, our drawing or the mesh that makes up our drawings. I'm going to press A to deselect. Okay, so with that done, I'm just going to go back over. So we're currently set on the default settings for bones. I'm going to go back to B bone and select that. And then now with that done, I'm going to come down to object mode. I'm then going to left click. Let me press A, A to make sure nothing is selected. I'm going to left click first on our drawing. This is our outliner, by the way. Sometimes when I click on the uh, a bone in Blender, I don't see a uh, highlight going on it, which lets it, it makes it hard for me to know that I'm selected. So anyway, I'm, I'm selected on the drawing. You can see that here. So that's why I went towards the outliner, because the outliner can help you. If you're not sure if you selected something here, you can just look at the outliner and see that you're selected. So with the uh, drawing selected first, and that's where you see plane, I'm going to hold shift. And then I'm going to left click second on our armature. And this turn uh, looks, you know, darker orange, but doesn't look like, doesn't look like the armatures are highlighted to me. Anyway, in Outliner, you can see that the uh, armature is selected. So with the drawing, which is called the plane here, selected first, and then the armature selected second. Now what we can do is hold control, and then while holding control, press P. This brings up our set parent to menu. And then we want to go down to with automatic weights. And then I'm going to left click on with automatic weights. Okay, now I'm going to press A to, whoops, I'm going to press A, there we go. The D select, I'm going to click on our bones. I'm then going to, uh, you know, to make this easier to work with, I'm actually going to click on uh, our, uh, active display button here. And then I'm going to go down, see where we see maximum draw type. I'm currently selected on the bone. I'm going to order armature. I'm going to click here and I'm going to change this to wire. Okay, so now uh, we are seeing just the bone because I'm selected on this. Sometimes when I used to work with this before, sometimes I was like, is this going to make everything wire or just the object that I'm working on? It's just the object you're working on. Okay, so with the bone selected or armature selected, I'm going to left click near the bottom and then I'm going to select pose mode. Okay, so now with this, what we can do is click this uh, top bone here and press G. And there you can see how our uh, drawing is responding. Pretty cool. You know, just the way it, I just like how it, it moves. And then I'm going to right click to get this to jump back. And then with that select, we can also press R. And we can sit there and see, you know, just how we can uh, rotate the uh, the head of this. So, uh, yeah, I really like the uh, bendy bones, particularly for, you know, things like this with long necks. And uh, it's very, very cool. Okay, one thing I want to say about these bendy bones is typically I work, I'm going to click back on our armature button. Typically, I work uh, as far as rigging, looking at bones in their default mode, which is this oxahedral view right here. This is what I'm comfortable working with. This is what I'm used to working with, right? 
So I am still clicked on the bone that I was clicked on with the V bones. And watch this. When I press G, even though we have this uh, default view, everything works. As far as I know, everything is, is the same. And the, the V bones is just you know, a visual way of seeing it. However, if you're like me and you like working in uh, you know, the default view as far as the bones, don't think that you have to be clicked on B bone on that display to have the functionality of your B bones. Uh, to me, I, you know, I, I didn't know when I saw people first talking about uh, B bones. Um, strangely enough, I like <laughs> seeing this when I am working with something with B bone, but I don't think that you have to be clicked on this B bone to have this functionality. Is uh, what I just want to be clear about. Okay, guys, that's it for the tutorial. For all of those of you out there who like the videos on this channel, we share them. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And for those of you who are new to this channel, if you like the videos on this channel, you would like to see more, please subscribe and thank you for viewing.